Tom here from Learn Systems, and we're going to talk about DNS filtering, and specifically scope of this talk is going to be DNS filtering for malware. We're going to compare the Cloudflare plus the Cloudflare malware blocking, the Quad9 DNS filter, the DNS filter, actually it's the name of the company, just dnsfilter.com, and Cisco Umbrella. We're gonna be putting them against a list of malware domains and making a determination of exactly how effective they are at specifically the task of blocking malware, phishing, or just generally bad sites. Now, a couple things about this. I do know, and this is out of scope of this particular talk, that there are expanded features both offered by Cisco Umbrella and DNS Filter. They're both paid services that offer more granular filtering in terms of being able to block sites by category, etc. But like I said, we're going to keep it narrow in scope. I'm going to leave notes in a write-up over on my forums, exactly my methodologies and any of the code I used and sources I had for all of this data. And we're going to dive into that in detail so you're able to, at the end of this, you'll have that write-up so you can reproduce Produce this yourself if you'd like to try. But first, if you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hire us button right at the top. If you want to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel, including a link to our Patreon if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter. We also have a swag store where you can get shirts and other items that are for sale, and that changes from time to time what's available and what's not, so go ahead and check that out frequently. And finally, our forums. If you'd like to have a more in-depth discussion about this video, suggestions for new videos, or just reach out, say hi, and talk tech, our forums are a great place for that. All right, now back to the content. DNS filter. I signed up for a 14-day trial, and we'll get to the details of the settings on there, but that's where I signed up for them. That is a paid service. Then we have Cisco Umbrella, also a paid service. I've got a demo account on here um, that allows one one user, essentially one site on here. So we'll get into the dashboard of that. Quad9, which is internet security, privacy, and a few steps, and free. So this is just putting in the 9.9.9. Uh, this is the Quad9 company. And this is the Cloudflare. Now, Cloudflare we're actually using twice. We're using Cloudflare 1 just to see if the site's resolved, the 1.1.1.1, and then 1.1.1.2. It's like a tongue twister to me. Uh, is the no malware filtered one that we're going to be using for comparison. So we're going to break down the methodologies and how I did that. Now let's go over to the dashboards of each of these. DNS filter. I created a special policy here in DNS filter that's supposed to block bot botnets, crypto mining, malware, new domains, any domain less than 30 days, you're blocked. Phishing deception, proxy, and translation sites. So this is the particular policy I used. I'm not using safe search categories, uh, any of the other policies in here. Like I said, beyond the scope of this particular talk, they can block uh, apparently humor sites. And I don't want to block humor sites. I'm specifically focusing on threats. Slide over here to the open DNS dashboard. Uh, blurring out my office IP, but this is, I can assure you that's what it is. Uh, and I just chose their malware, botnet protection, and phishing protection on the side of web content filtering, that logged me out. It's uh, not any set up, anything set up for web content filtering. Uh, I, once again, focusing just on the malware. Now, where do we get a list of terrible domains? We got those here. The bad domains all came from this particular site. And I chose this one because they seem reasonably up to date. This feed is free. And a couple side notes. I cannot show you this feed if I were to dump it to the screen. There's a very high likelihood, as I've learned from several of my friends working in security, that YouTube will see a list of command and control servers and other uh, nefarious domains listed on the screen and therefore will block me uh, from having this video stay online. So I've learned this from a couple of my friends, but don't worry that, like I said, there will be a write-up with all of the links where you can get this same list and reproduce these same results yourself uh, over on my forums. So I will be blurring out any as we talk about the domains. Now, back to the methodology a little bit more. Once we have that list of domains, how do you actually look them up? Well, a little bash script, really simple, that creates a CSV file. So here's the domains, the Cloudflare Quad9, uh, Cloudflare again, but the malware one, the 1.1.1.2, DNS filter, open DNS, Cisco umbrella. And um, this little piece of code, yes, it is uh, just commented out, which is the sleep. And the reason I did that was at first I thought I would need to have something like that in order to um, make sure the system wouldn't overrun and do too many queries, but that actually didn't happen. Um, when I was doing all my testing, I did all the queries and I would do them more than once so I could make sure I get the same results. 
Also, I threw in good domains just to make sure all of them always resolve the good domains and they consistently did. All of them had like google.com, YouTube, and even my own domain. Never had a problem. They all would give the right result for that. So we had to do a little bit of filtering on that. Back to the list over here now, once we created this all as a CSV file, we moved it into over here, LibreOffice. Now, as I said, I have to blur the domain names on the side here for YouTube reasons, but the way these results are tallied, first, the main file was downloaded and there was about just under 2,400 domains in that download link. Then you use that tool and I look for what the results of the resolvers were. Only 141 of those domains out of the 2300 were resolved by the 1.1.1. There was never any circumstance out of those other ones. Basically, we threw away over 2,000 domains. The ones we threw out were not resolved by any of the other ones, but resolved by Cloudflare because this is supposed to be their unfiltered service. But many of those domains that are in that list, Cloudflare themselves, even though they have a specific one for malware filtering, some of those domains, uh, they may have expired, they may have had temporary ones, they may have been taken down and fallen out of the DNS servers. Uh, that does happen. So the list that I pulled from that ISC well, sometimes those domains just get removed. So even though they're in there, they may not have been alive for a while. So they've expired their DNS records. So I wanted to narrow it down to live DNS records. And I bring that up because it's important because it would be uh, untruthful to say that all those domains got resolved by these other ones over here, but we'll get into that in a second. So here's that list of domains. Now, if you noticed I had, and I can't show it again, but I can at least show that yes, I have all these virus totals over here. One of the things I wanted to make sure is we weren't seeing a bunch of false positives. So I grabbed quite a few domains and it turns out virus total will rate limit you if you grab too many of them and query these domains against virus totals domain list to make sure that yes, they were shown as having malware. So uh, you will be able to do that because of the links I leave on my forum where you can go and actually see the domains. But with that being said, now that we understand the methodology, this is a count right here for the totals. This is a count of number of domains resolved. So this is just the full list of them here. There's 141. Second, what does this mean? Four, only four out of the 141 that were resolved by 1.1.1 were also resolved by that. That means 97% of these bad sites were blocked by Quad9, which is great. Then we move over to Cloudflare 1.1.1.2, and we find that 56% of the sites were blocked. Now, this is where things go downhill very quickly. DNS filter and their AI enabled system only blocked 15% of the sites that Cloudflare did. And these domains and even some of these IP addresses are on bad reputation lists. So I was spot checking around here and looking, their bad reputation, definitely bad domains. Sometimes you can get good reputation IPs because of the way multi-hosting works, where there's a malware domain hosted on IP, but then there's other good sites hosted on there. So it's not necessarily something you always find the answer by looking up IP. Also, sometimes malware domains will move amongst uh, different IP addresses, you know, as they get discovered and maybe someone blocks that IP address. So it is best to do this by domain name because frequently that's what malware will do is reach out to and phishing sites. They usually have a link to a proper URL to many of these different sites that are in here. And then we get over to the Cisco umbrella, which only blocked 9%. So Quad9 by a long shot is really uh, ahead of the pack here, followed by the filtered malware filtering that Cloudflare offers with their 1.1.2. I'm just really disappointed that only 15% of the sites block with DNS filter and Cisco umbrella, because if you're thinking about things from a security, it only takes one site to get through. Great, if you were trying to do this as a marketing spin, let's say a marketing spin, and how would they do it? Well, we downloaded those 2,300 sites, Tom, and we only found 119 of 2,300 sites resolved. That four, that's a really small number. I'm not a marketing person here. I'm telling you out of the 141 resolved on Cloudflare, 119 of those resolved. Now, Cloudflare does not consider this 1.1.1 a filtered site but they do consider their 1.1.2. So I think also Cloudflare could probably use some improvements on here and at least do some comparisons to that free publicly available feed that was downloaded from, as mentioned before, from the SAN site. So if they would have done it, my guess would be that Quad9 
does do that type of filtering because the sites that are in here were only marked as suspicious. So all four sites that Quad9 still did resolve were suspicious, but not necessarily flagged as malware. So I was actually really impressed overall with Quad9. So go back over here though, and these two numbers right here just shocked me. The fact that this much got through with the Cisco and Bell and DNS filter. So my overall disappointment with them is for being a paid service, you're mentally, I would say, thinking you're going to get something above and beyond and better what some free service could provide. But that simply didn't hold up to this particular test. But as I said, I'll be leaving links to all this in my forums so you can do the results yourself. I want to make sure that if I'm doing something wrong, one, someone can go through this, reproduce it, because, well, that's called peer review in the world of science. And this is essentially a science. We're doing some testing and investigation, and all this is relatively easy to use. It's a simple bash script and just a simple link to a download of bad malware sites from that particular site. And then just some DNS resolving going on, and really anyone with an email address and you don't mind being hounded by some salespeople potentially and getting some emails can sign up for those free services and also reproduce those tests. They both offer free trials of their service. So a few different things to think about there if you'd like to reproduce this. And if I'm wrong, I would like to have a discussion. I mean, not uh, so far, I don't really find anything wrong with my methodology. I'm also double checked my work quite a bit and it doesn't mean I'm not uh, saying there's not some flaw I did, but the numbers are staggering. How does Quad9 do such a good job of doing this and the other companies don't? So the results are a little bit surprising to me, um, but maybe there's some other sites than another list that you may find is even more effective than this, but uh, that's why I'm putting all this code out there for you to try. Uh, like to know your thoughts on this, leave your comments below uh, or head over to the forums and let's have a more in-depth discussion. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.